In the CCTV footage, three young men are seemingly engaged in a heated verbal exchange with a security guard. The exchange turns violent, with one of the young men hurling a bottle at the guard. But it is this action of one of them drawing his gun and menacingly approaching the guard that has landed him in the crosshairs of the law enforcement officers. The man has since been identified as Kevin Obia. He was picked up by the police yesterday. The firearm that he brandished with near reckless abandon has been withdrawn. Police say they are seeking to establish whether the firearms registration certificate that Kevin Obia presented to them to prove that he is a licensed gun holder is legitimate. He was released on police bond and is said to be charged in court. It won't be the first time Kevin will be in the dock. The man, described in the media that is both mainstream and the blogs as a flamboyant businessman, has previously been charged with pretending to be in a position to sell 7 kilograms of gold to one Mr. Galati, for which he fraudulently obtained 13.7 million shillings during a meeting at a hotel in the Nairobi city centre. Kevin Obia, alias Kevin Clay, alias The Dawn does paint the image of a man who is not afraid of showing off his wealth. His social media presence awash with images of a life of luxury. He is often photographed beside high-end luxury cars and houses. He rubs shoulders with personalities in the social limelight and frequents the it social places. The source of his wealth, however, remains the subject of unanswered questions and wild speculation. Police are expected to charge him by Thursday this week.